Russ, thank you. As that happens, police say they're actually responding to fewer shootings this year than last year, saying cases are down in the first two months of 2024. Fox 59 Jesse Wells digs into that trend and has new details on the latest case in the city. The owner of this home tells me he was forced to shoot a suspect who was trying to steal a generator from the property. At the same time, IMPD reports non-fatal shootings like this incident are down double digits over the first two months of the year. Just after 5 o'clock in the morning here on Forest Avenue, police were called after a homeowner admitted he shot a would-be thief in the leg to protect himself and his property from being stolen following a home break-in. So far this year, IMPD reports there have been 80 non-fatal shooting incidents. That's a decline of 20% compared to the same time last year. The number of victims has also gone down, and that continues a trend of non-fatal shootings decreasing over the last three years. Still, the homeowner here on Forest Avenue wishes the city would do a better job fixing the root causes of violence. You got uh, too many homeless people and drug addicts in the neighborhood that nobody's offering them treatment. Finally, the homeowner tells me after the shooting this morning, a second suspect also tried to break into the home. That suspect was detained without violence until police arrived. Jesse Wells, Fox 59 News. Jesse, thank you. Also today